Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord, everybody. Happy 49th anniversary of TOD. Thank the Lord. We're just going to sing one of these old songs. Yay. Glory to God. Come on, put those hands together.
Thanksgiving and enjoy his court with praise. Be thankful unto him and bless his name. Come on, bless his name. Bless his name. Bless his name. Bless his name. Come on, Zion, you bless his name. Bless his name. Bless his name. Hallelujah. Lord, we thank you today. Lord, we praise you today. Lord, we magnify you today. Lord, we give you glory, O oh God. You're a wonderful Savior today. We thank you, O oh God, for health and strength today. Thank you for waking us up this morning. Thank you for starting us on our way, O oh God. Thank you for a reasonable portion of health and strength, O oh God. Thank you, O oh God. We bless your name. Come on, we bless your name. Come on, Zion, we bless your name, Lord. We bless your name, Lord. We bless your name, O oh God. And we give you glory today. We thank you right now. We thank you, oh God. We thank you for your sacrifice. Thank you for your blood. Thank you, oh God. You was wounded by our transgressions. You were bruised by our iniquities. The chastisement of our peace was upon you. With your stripes, we are healed. We were healed, and we are healed. Come on and thank God. Thank you, Lord. Thank you. Thank you for the healing. Thank you for the touch now. Thank you, oh God. We bless your name, Lord. We bless your name, Lord. We bless your name. There is none like you. None like you. There is none like you. There is none like you. Come on, there is none like you. There is none. None like you, oh God. We bless your name today. We ask even now, oh God, that you forgive us of sin today. In the name of Jesus, forgive us of transgressions. Forgive us of iniquities, oh God. Everything that's not like you. In the name of Jesus, everything, oh God, that's not like you. You purge us, Lord, from the outside in, inside out, oh God. In the name of Jesus, take out the stony heart. Give us a heart of flesh, oh God, that we may be sensitive, oh God, to your word, oh God, to your spirit, oh God, to your anointing, oh God. In the name of Jesus, in the name of Jesus. Jesus, we thank you right now. Thank you for every member, oh God. Thank you, oh God. Thank you for every member, Lord. We thank you for everyone, oh God, who made their arrival. We thank you for those that are on their way. We thank you, oh God, for the E member. We thank you for those that are online, oh God. We bless your name, Lord. We bless your name, oh God. We bless your name. We bless your name. We thank you, oh God, for this day. The day we celebrate your body and your blood and holy communion today. Lord, we ask, oh God, you make us ready to receive your body and your blood today. And Lord, we thank you. We thank you, oh God, for this being our 49th church anniversary. We thank you, Lord. We thank you, oh God. You said the memory of the saint is blessed. We thank you, O oh God, for our founder, O oh God, and his eminent bishop, G. E. Patterson. We thank you, O oh God, for Mother Evangelist Louise Patterson. We thank you for their labor of love. We thank you for their works, O oh God, in the name of Jesus. We thank you, O oh God, for Jesus being a habit breaker. We thank you, Lord. He yet habit breaking today, O oh God. We thank you, O oh God, that God is the same yesterday, today, and forever. We thank you, O oh God. We thank you, O oh God, that you change not, O oh God, in the name of Jesus. We thank you, O oh God, for all that you have done for this congregation, O oh God. Thank you for every door you've opened, O oh God. Thank you for every way you have made, O oh God. Thank you, O oh God. For the radio broadcast. Uh, thank you for the television ministry, oh God. Thank you for the outreach in the community. We bless your name, oh God. We bless your name, Lord. We bless your name. 
for soul winning. We bless your name. We bless your name, Lord, for the legacy still continues. You have left us with a witness here today. You're with every generation, oh God. We thank you for our leader, oh God. Even now, oh God, Bishop Milton R. Hawkins, Lady Catherine Crawford Hawkins, we lift them up before you today. Give fresh oil, oh God. Fresh anointing, oh God. Renew strength, oh God. In the name of Jesus, we thank you, Lord. Uh, save today, oh God. Have your way, oh God, in the midst of your people. Save, oh God. Save your people today. Save the backslider. Save the sinner, oh God. Reclaim the backslider. In the name of Jesus, send the wayward home, oh God. In the name of Jesus, go in the nursing home. Go in the prisons. Go, oh God, wherever your people are. Hey, God, on the mountains, in the valleys, the highways, the hedges, wherever they are, oh, God. Oh, God, they need you. We need you, oh, God. We need you, oh, God. We need you, oh, God. We need you, oh, God, in our homes, in our communities. Oh, God, in our church, we need you. Let your arm of protection be around us, oh, God. Bless us, oh, God, as we go through this day. Let your Holy Spirit anoint today. Let your power break out on us, oh God. Release your anointing, oh God. Lord, release your anointing, oh God. Release your anointing, oh God. Do what needs to be done. And Father, we'll be careful and mindful for giving your name all the glory, all the honor, and all the praise in Jesus' name. Thank God. Come on, thank God. Thank the Lord. Hallelujah. Praise God. Our scripture this morning is found in 2 Chronicles, the seventh chapter, verses 12 through 17. 12 through 16, pardon me. And the Lord appeared to Solomon by night and said unto him, I have heard thy prayer and have chosen this place to myself for an house of sacrifice. If I shut up heaven, that there be no rain, or if I command the locusts to devour the land, or if I send pestilence among my people, if my people, which are called by my name, shall humble themselves and pray and seek my face, and turn from their wicked ways, then will I hear from heaven and will forgive their sin and will heal their land. Now mine eyes shall be opened and mine ears attend unto the prayer that is made in this place. For now I have chosen and sanctified this house that my name may be there forever, and mine eyes and mine heart shall be there perpetually. The word of the Lord is blessed. This health tip is brought to you by the Temple of Deliverance Health and Healing Ministry. Today's health tip focuses on colorectal cancer. Colorectal cancer is a disease in which cells in the colon or rectum grow out of control. Annually, over 52,000 people die from this disease, which is approximately 9% of all cancer death. The incidence of colorectal cancer is higher in men than in women, and it is higher in blacks than any other racial group. Most cases of colorectal cancer began as small, non-cancerous, or benign clumps of cells called polyps. In most cases, it is not clear what causes colorectal cancer. Medical clinicians know that colorectal cancer occurs when healthy cells in the large intestine alter. There are certain factors that may increase the risk of colorectal cancer. These include age, ethnicity, family history, medical history, diet, and lifestyle. Many people with colorectal cancer experience no symptoms in the early stages of the disease. When the symptoms appear, they tend to vary depending on the size and location of the cancer in the large intestine. 
Signs and symptoms may include changes in bowel habits, such as diarrhea, constipation, or a change in consistency of stools. Other signs and symptoms include rectal bleeding, persistent abdominal discomfort, such as cramps, gas, or pain, a feeling that the bowels do not empty completely, weakness or fatigue, unexplained weight loss, and stools that are more narrow than usual. Colon cancer screening is important. They are recommended around the age of 45, and if you have any of the average risk. Colonoscopy is one of the tests that is done, and it's a scope where they look into the colon and the rectum. If there are any polyps there, they can be removed at this time. Treatments vary depending on the findings. If you or someone you know has any of these signs or symptoms, please see your health care provider. Good morning, saints. I am super excited to bring you your Sunday morning announcements today, Sunday, March 3rd, 2024. At this time, would our March birthday members please stand? Happy birthday. Praise God for all of our March babies, amen. You can meet your birth month president immediately after service at the West Side Greeter Station, amen. Proverbs reminds us that he that finds a wife finds a good thing and obtains favor from the Lord, amen. And with that said, we have three wedding anniversary announcements. At this time, would Brother Kami and Sister Margaret Thomas please stand? Amen, saints. They celebrated 41 years of marriage on yesterday. Amen. <laughs> Praise God. At this time, would Deacon Steve and Sister Vivian Douglas please stand? <laughs> Saints of God, they are celebrating 34 years of marriage on today. <laughs> God bless you. And would Elder Morris and Evangelist Beverly Jefferson please stand? Are they here? Well, saints, they're celebrating 36 years of marriage on today. Amen. To God be all the glory and many more years. Family, this is a reminder that daylight savings time occurs on next Sunday morning. We want to be mindful to move our clocks forward by one hour on next Saturday night. Again, we will spring forward one hour, amen? Saints of God, let's pray one for another as if our own blessings depended on it. With that said, before closing, we have one very special additional announcement. Saints, it's our 49th church anniversary. Yes, indeed, God has richly blessed us through the life and legacy of our founder, Bishop G.E. Patterson, and through the current ministry of our very own pastor, Bishop Milton R. Hawkins, amen. amen. Saints, with that said, it gives me great pleasure to introduce one of our charter members. This member holds the membership number of 2242 none other than Sister Linda Thomas Henry. Amen. Let's give her a hand as she comes. Amen. Oh, yeah. Giving out to Bishop Hawkins, 
First Lady Hawkins in the church. And I know Bishop Hawkins knew what he was doing when he put me up here. Because for those of you that don't know me, I'm a praiser. And if you knew the Bishop G.E. Patterson, he didn't only preach or teach, but he was a dancer. I got the preaching, I got the teaching, and I got the dancing. And then one of his favorite Marvel characters, he would always tell the church, was Superman. Now we're talking about, we're having a celebration. And I'm already anticipating what Bishop Hopkins finna do today. So y'all forgive me. Because a few Sundays ago, you're talking about Superman. I saw a man, I'm already now in the future. See so y'all done missed the past. Hey, glory. Because G.E. Patterson said, when I leave here, those of you that are yet here, whoever come out to me, as long as that word is going forth, I want you to stay. Hey! And you can't tell me that that word is not going forth. I saw that man a couple of Sundays ago, and I said, watch out, little G.E. He got his own title, Bishop Hawkins, but I said, that's his uncle and the apple didn't fall too far from that tree. I looked and I said, is it a bird? Is it a plane? No, that's Bishop Hawkins, man. Whoa, watch out now. And as he was running, as he was running, saints, I was up there in the rises. I was in a lot of pain. I was up there in the rises, but I could see him when he come through. He came through faster than a speeding bullet, more powerful than a locomotive. And then he leaped, and I'm talking about leap. It wasn't like the football game, how you know they'll touch down, but they'll stumble a little bit, and they'll wallow a little bit, and they'll flip a little bit. But when the Holy Ghost got him, that man landed on both feet. And I'm telling you, I can see him saying, go back, Satan, to the pits of heaven which you came. You can't have temple of deliverance. You can't have the saints of God. You can't have our children. You can't have us in the name of Jesus. And he said, be healed. Be delivered and be set free. It's already done. It's already done. And Bishop Hawkins, I'm already through. But I can hear G.E. Patterson saying, I want you to tell the people at Temple of Deliverance, it's all right now. It's all right now. That you're looking for it. You expect it to receive it. Come on, put those hands together.
Amen, amen. We're going to keep it moving higher on this anniversary. Come on, come on. It's our church anniversary. Amen. Our guest artist, she's known as the Princess of Praise. Many of you have, may know her through Richard Smallwood and Vision, but she's a Stella Award winner and a Dove-nominated artist. Many of her songs are sung every Sunday morning somewhere across the country. And once you hear her voice, you will know what I'm talking about. And today I want to present to some and introduce to others this great woman of God with her music ministry, Temple of Deliverance, give her a great welcome. The ministry of Marette Brown Clark, come on and give it to her. Through it all, through it all, I've learned to trust in Jesus. I've learned to trust in God Oh, through it all Through it all I've learned to depend upon His Word I find it better instead of talking to sing my testimony Through it all Anybody else got that testimony through it all? Oh, I've learned to trust in Jesus. I've learned to trust in God. Hey, through it all. 49 years, Bishop, through it all. I've learned to depend upon his word. If that's you, clap your hands and give God a through it all thank you. Through many dangers seen and unseen, I have already come. Some of us, y'all, some of y'all have been here for 49 years, 48 years, 47 years. Some of you were here year one. We give God praise. This is the Lord's doing and it is marvelous in our eyes. Thank you, Jesus. We give all the glory to God. Thank you so much for this opportunity. We certainly honor the life and the legacy of your founding pastor, Bishop Patterson. Um, praise God for his life. We thank you for your current pastor, Bishop Hawkins. Don't let me outclap you. Yeah, don't let me out clap you. I'm sorry. Oh, thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. He said to me the last time I was here, we're going to have you back. And little did we know there was a pandemic in between having you back. So I thank the Lord for his goodness and his mercy and his kindness and his favor and everything that he's done. And I just want to say thank you. You mind if I help celebrate on this morning? Thank you, Jesus. I want to say thank you, thank you, thank you. If I never live another day, if I never see another smiling face, if I never breathe another breath or take another step, I want to say thank you, thank you. Uh huh. If I never hear what's to be heard, if I never speak another word, if I never see another sight or taste another bite, I want Say thank you, thank you, oh, thank you for all that you've done thus far, my God. Thank you for being the kind of God that you are, yes, Lord. Thank you for food on my table. God, I know you're able, I want to say thank you, thank you, Lord. Another wall. If 
you did for me yesterday and I know what you're doing right now God I thank you I praise you I praise you I praise you you're so good to me you're so good to me and I just want to praise you forever and ever and ever and ever I do I do Wave your hands if you love him. Wave your hands if you bless him. Hallelujah. He's already done enough, but the thing is, he keeps on doing great things. And all he wants us to do is to try to live for him. Woo! Thank you, Jesus, for an opportunity just to try and live for you. Let my life be a living testimony of the grace and the goodness of God. You can put me in F sharp. Uh-huh, real simple song. It just says, I just want to praise you forever and ever and ever.
Church of God in Christ. I grew up with a praying father, a deacon in the church of God in Christ. This is in my bones. This is my DNA. And what an honor and a privilege to be here to celebrate 49 years. And then I had to think about it and I was like, I'm older than the church. I should have been cut off a long time ago. I'm not too haughty, too proud to think I deserve God's goodness, even on my best days. And so the pandemic came and we all had to live through it. Well, if you're here, you live through it. And I don't know about you, but I had days when I thought it was over. I didn't think I'd get an opportunity to get on a plane and travel to Memphis, Tennessee from Baltimore and not be afraid to go. And so I appreciate every little thing, breathing in and breathing out and breathing in and breathing out, breathing in and breathing out and being able to lift my hand when my brain tells my hand to lift and to be able to walk when my brain tells my legs to walk and God continues to grace me. I'm not going to belabor the hour. We're going to get out of church. I want to hear a word from the God too, from God too. And I want to hear a word from your very fine pastor. I'm sure he's excited about it. And I'm excited to hear what the Lord has given him. But if you would indulge me for about two and a half more minutes. I wasn't here at church last Sunday. But I heard I was here kind of, sort of. A little girl named, well, a young lady, excuse me, named Paige sang my song. And so, rap, come on. Rather than get in my feelings about it, I, I said, well, lovely Paige, what you got? So just indulge us for two minutes. I was, um, I started this years ago, and it never in my wildest dreams. I knew what God told me, and I knew what he said. And when he said it, I said yes. But never in my dreams did I picture a, a, a younger Moret named Paige singing any of my music that I recorded, like I used to sing CC Winans, like I used to sing Tremaine, whoo, 
Like I used to be Tremaine in the basement. Like, I, like we all used to sing other people's songs. To, so to know that in Memphis, Tennessee, So she thinks I'm making her dream, but she's making my dream. Thank you, Jesus. All right, come on, let's do this. Just a little bit, okay? Like two minutes, don't get excited. I know you're good, don't sing. I'll be over here. I know the odds look stacked up against you and it seems there's no way out <laughs> I know the issue seems unchangeable and that there's no reason to Shout, but the impossible is God's chance to work a miracle, a miracle, so just
Come on, let's clap our hands for Jesus. Not for me, not for your neighbor. Clap your hands for Jesus. I'm waiting to hear the right sound. I'm waiting for the volume to be turned up because we are clapping our hands for Jesus, our Savior, our Deliverer, our Helper, our all in all. Come on, come on. One more time. Clap your hands for Jesus. Hallelujah, 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 hallelujah. Glory to God. Glory to God. Glory to God. Glory to God. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Father, we honor you and we praise you and we thank you for this day. We thank you for this 49th church anniversary. We thank you for the presence of God in this place. We know that it is only your anointing that destroys yokes. We ask for your favors here today. And we ask that you would speak into the lives of these, your people. Bind the power of the enemy right now. Bind the adversary. Let the blood of Jesus cover this house and cover this ministry. We thank you, Lord, for 49 years of excellence, 49 years of souls being saved, 49 years of bodies being healed, 49 years of people being delivered, 49 years of people receiving the baptism in the Holy Ghost. Thank you for 49 years of victory. And Lord, this is our year of victory. And we give you praise for victory right now. We give you praise for victory right now. Hallelujah. Thank you for the victory. Thank you for the victory. Thank you, Lord. Lord, anoint my tongue of thee, lips of clay, that we will speak as an oracle of thee. Grant us the tongue of the learned, that we may speak a word in season to them which are weary, and let your word find its target. Bind every hindering spirit, and let the blood of Jesus move in this house. You get all the praise. You get all the glory. You get all the honor. Anoint us with fresh oil for this task. And God, whatever you do, will continue to remember your name. In Jesus' name we pray. Thank God. Come on, give God a glorious praise in this house. Let's appreciate the founders of Temple of Deliverance, the late Bishop G.E. Patterson and Evangelist Louise Patterson. We thank God for the labor that they gave us during this time. And let's thank God for Marette Brown Clark, tremendous musical gift. And for that new gospel artist on the scene, Paige Gray. God bless. God bless you. Please be seated. What a joy it is to be in God's house. God bless you, First Lady Hawkins, Pastor Wells, and all of the people of the Lord. I'm glad to be here on this day. This is the day which the Lord hath made. We will rejoice and be glad in it. You have your Bibles, open them. I'm going to go from New Testament back to Old Testament. No, that may not be the specific order that we normally use but that what we're going to use today. Look at 1 Corinthians chapter 3, verse 6, then Hebrews chapter 6, verse 10, and then Isaiah chapter 54, verse 17. 1 Corinthians 3 and 6, Hebrews 6 and 10, Isaiah 54, 
and 17. 1 Corinthians 3, chapter, verse, uh, chapter 3, verse 6, I have planted, Apollos watered, but God gave the increase. Hebrews 6 and 10. For God is not unrighteous to forget your work and labor of love which ye have showed toward his name, in that ye have ministered to the saints and do minister. Isaiah 54, 17. No weapon that is formed against thee shall prosper, and every tongue that shall rise against thee in judgment, thou shalt condemn. This is the heritage of the servants of the Lord, and their righteousness is of me, saith the Lord. Paul tells us in 1 Corinthians that God gave the increase. The writer of Hebrews tells us that God will not forget what you have done. And then Isaiah tells us, whatever tries to stop you won't be able to do it. So I want to use the subject today for this 49th church anniversary. There's no stopping us now. Those of you who love God's church and love the ministry, will you just look at a neighbor and say, there's no stopping us now. God bless you, Usher. There's no stopping us now. On August the 3rd, 1857, Frederick Douglass, an abolitionist, coined these famous words. He said, and I quote, if there is no struggle, there is no progress. He really intimated that success is attained over a period of time, that success is a process. It takes energy, it takes enthusiasm, it takes commitment, it takes faith. It takes the ability to see what somebody else does not see. Success is attained over a period of time. Uh, years from now, we will look back, and I enjoyed what Sister Moret was saying as she looked at the C.C. Winans and the other people. Years from now, we'll look back, and Paige Gray will be singing somewhere. We'll remember today and what she's already done to get to this point. Because success is attained over a period of time. Now there will always be people and spirits that will try to hinder or stop your success. But I want to say to you what the Bible said. I want to say to you what Paul said, if God before you, then who can be against you? It takes determination to stay strong. I know the early history of the founder of the Church of God, in, of not only the Church of God in Christ, but of Bishop G.E. Patterson, the establishmentarian of this ministry. I know that he served with his father, my grandfather, the late Bishop W.E. Patterson at Holy Temple as co-pastor. 
I know that God led him out and he started this ministry March the 2nd, 1975. And here we are 49 years later. God has given us success over a period of years, but it's not because of you. Look at somebody say, it's not because of you. And that's what Paul was trying to tell the Corinthian church. I respect what you think, but don't get it twisted. Let me give you the real deal. Paul said, I have planted. I'm the founder. I'm the establishmentarian. And then Apollos put some water on what I planted. But if you want to know why the growth of the church, why the explosion of the church, why the spirit of the church is so great, I want you to know that God gave the increase. And everything that this church and all churches of the Lord Jesus Christ and everything that you should be about as an individual who love God, who wants to attain, always remember that it doesn't matter how many degrees you have. And it doesn't matter how many contacts you have. And it doesn't even matter how much money you have accumulated. The reason you have what you have is simply because God gave the increase. And if it had not been the Lord on our side, we would have been swallowed up and defeated. But thanks be unto God that always causes us to triumph. Thanks be unto God that always gives us the victory. Thanks be unto God that always makes a way out of no way. I remember the songwriter, and every now and then you ought to go back and reach and get one of those old songs. I remember the songwriter that, that told us of these things, that told us to look back over our shoulder and think things over. And I can truly say that I've been blessed. I have a testimony. The Lord, come on, touch somebody, say the Lord, the Lord, the Lord, the Lord. The Lord has been good to me down through the years, all of my life. The Lord has been good to me. There are some people here that's been members of this church all 49 years. There are some people that's been members of this church just nine months. There are some people that's been members of this church just one week. But the Lord has been good to you no matter how long you've been here. The Lord has been good to you. And if you keep walking in the ways of the Lord, he'll continue to be good to you. I've learned that can't nobody do you like Jesus. Paul said, I've planted Apollos water, but God gave the, in the increase. It's amazing because to me it sounds somewhat like it's an oxymoron. Maybe it sounds uh, like it, it just not, it should contradict itself. It does not sound like it should be, but God needs us, but he doesn't need us. In this same chapter, it said, we are laborers together with him. For we are God's husbandry. We are God's building. God does not need us because he can do everything on his own if he wanted to. He didn't need us to make the earth. When he made the earth, he didn't need, we wasn't even in existence. God made us. So he doesn't need us in one sense. But then in another sense, he made us to cohabitate with one another. He made us for fellowship and communion with one another. So he does need us to spread the gospel that Jesus is Lord. So it's an oxymoron. He doesn't need us, but then again, he does need us. But one thing we ought to know, that we need him every day. 
We should never get to the point that we say, I've come now that I don't need the Lord. You need him, just like the songwriter said. When I tell my hand to go up, it goes up. When I tell my mouth to speak, it speaks. If God did not give me the cognitive ability to do that, I would be speaking empty words. I'd be a sounding brass and a tinkling cymbal. But because God tells me what to do, and God tells me how to do it, and God gives gives us the victory, then you ought to be glad every time you get up in the morning. You didn't wake yourself up. The alarm clock didn't wake you up. Your phone did not wake you up, but God woke you up. Just look at somebody and tell them, I need him, I need him, I need him. No matter how many miracles the Lord does in his church, no matter how many people get saved, no matter how many people jump and shout and dance, we ought to know that it's the Lord that has stirred you up. It's the Lord that looks beyond our faults and sees our need. Here we are sitting in church on Sunday morning where other people are sitting in their uh, drunkenness sitting in their stupor and sitting in their weed infested houses sitting in drug dens and here we are entering his gates with thanksgiving and coming into his courts with praise. Don't you know you ought to be glad like the psalmist said I was glad when they said unto me let us go into the house of the Lord. Every time I come to church I'm glad. Why are you going to be sad in God's house? Why are you going to be mad in God's house? Why are you going to have a tood in God's house? I was glad when they said unto me let us go into the house of the Lord. And when I get in here, when I get inside the gates, I'm going to give him praise. When I get inside the gates, I'm going to glorify his name. When I get inside, Hallelujah. That's why the church keeps on working. That's why the church keeps on doing things in the community, keeps on witnessing and keeps on telling people that there is a risen Savior. That's why the church doesn't back down, even from politics. When they pass laws that are ungodly, we speak out against it. When they do things that we don't feel that is biblical, we speak out against it. Because we know that God expects us to stand in the army of the Lord. And you ought to be standing in God's army if you belong to God's church. You ought not to have a ministry of always feeling sorry for yourself. But you ought to have a ministry of making somebody else's life better day by day. If I can just help somebody. God made us helpers, and I believe that every believer ought to have the gift of helps, that we ought to help somebody else, that God always blesses you with others in mind. And every time God gives you a blessing, that doesn't mean for you to hoard it up and talk about, look who I am and look what I've got, because the same God that gave it to you is the same God that can snatch it away. And Job didn't do anything wrong. Job didn't sin, but the enemy snatched his stuff away. All Job was doing was praising God. Matter of fact, God gave Job a compliment and said, this man is an upright man. This man is a godly man. This man feareth God. This man escheweth evil and told the devil, if you want to try anybody, try this man. And you may be saying, God, why would you give me over into the enemy's hands? Because God is saying, I know what I put in you. And after it's all over, you'll still come out with a praise. You'll still come out on victory side. You'll still come out giving God the glory. And when Job looked back, they said that his house was gone. 
They said that his family was gone. They said that his possessions was gone. But Job cursed God not. And Job sinned not. And Job said the Lord gave and the Lord taketh away. But blessed be the name of the Lord. I want you to know today uh, that God is still in the blessing business. And if you look back over your life and see where God has brought you from, you can say that I'm still blessed. Will you tell your neighbor, neighbor, I'm still blessed. I've been through the storm in the lane. I've been through sickness and pain, but I am still blessed. And I found out that can't nobody bless you like God can. Can't nobody rock you like God can. Can't nobody touch you like God can. Won't he do it? Yes, he will. And then the Hebrew writer said that God cannot forget that God has a good memory and he won't forget your work and your labor of love. That's why I want to tell you, keep on working. If your name is not called, work anyhow. If your name is called, keep on working because God will not forget your work and your labor of love that you show toward the saints. If you keep on working and making somebody else's life better, don't get upset because you didn't get the appointment. Don't get upset because it looked like you were overlooked. God has something in the horizon for you. God has something on the horizon for you. And Jesus is on the main line. You can call him up and tell him what you want. Call him up in the morning. Call him up in the afternoon. Call him up in the evening and tell him uh, what you want. Uh, if you want joy, tell him what you want. If you want peace, tell him what you want. Uh, if you want deliverance, tell him what you want. Uh, if you want victory, tell him what you want. Uh, if you want a miracle, uh, tell him what you want. Uh, if you want a breakthrough, uh, tell him what you want. Tell him what you want. Hallelujah, hallelujah, hallelujah. Tell him what you want, and if you tell him what you want, I guarantee you that everything will be all right. But then he said, I won't forget, but I really like what Isaiah said. He said that God is so great that I know the tricks of the enemy, because while God is taking you up, the devil is trying to bring you down. And you can't tell me in 49 years of this church existence that the devil have not tried to bring this church down. He tried to bring it down when Bishop G. Patterson was the pastor. He tried to bring it down since I have been the pastor. But I'm doing what the old folks say. I'm stepping on the devil's head and letting the enemy know that the devil is a liar. God has given us the victory, and I don't believe uh, that he's brought us this far to leave us now. The sky is the limit for what you can have. You can have it anytime you get ready. I'm saying what they said. I know it was a song uh, by McFadden and Whitehair. They said it years ago. Uh, Ain't no stopping us now, but I'm flipping that thing on the spiritual side and said there's no stopping us now because God is our light, God is our strength, God is our salvation, God is everything we need, and I'm serving notice on the devil. If you think we're going higher now, you ain't seen nothing yet. I remember, and I got the clothes, but I remember when they stole the Ark of the Covenant, and when they stole the Ark of the Covenant, hallelujah, David's wife Michelle was sitting up in the eye, sitting up in the balcony, watching through the window, and David is dancing 
like he lost his mind. Dancing all over his clothes. He's the king, but he's dancing and looked like to her he was misappropriating himself. He was embarrassing himself. But David looked back at her and said, Woman, if you think I look bad today, just wait until the next time. If I look bad to you today, I'm going to look bad to myself because every time I think about Jesus, I feel good. Every time I think about where he brought me from, every time when I was stuck, he unstuck me. Every time when I was bound, he loosed me. Every time when I was down, he raised me up. Every time when I was back, he brought me forward. Every time I turn around, he keeps on. He keeps on. He keeps on blessing me. I'm blessed in the city, blessed in the field. Temple of deliverance, you are blessed in the city, you are blessed in the field, you are blessed at night, you are blessed in the morning, you are blessed when the sun goes down. Bless, 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 bless. I dare to go to about five people and just touch them on the shoulder and say, You're blessed, blessed, blessed. Hallelujah, 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 hallelujah. Hey. Yes, yes, yes. Woo. Come on, give God glory. Come on, give him glory. How many of y'all know you're blessed? Come on, shout it out, I'm blessed. Ooh. Wait a minute, I want the online viewers to see us. Cameraman, make sure the online audience, let make sure they see how many people are blessed. I'm going to ask this crowd one more time. How many of y'all know I'm blessed? Shout out, I'm blessed. Every time I turn around, every time I think about his goodness, every time I look back over my shoulder, every time I see where it brought me from, every time I look at the doctor's report that said I was going down, but God flipped that thing, and now things are looking better. I'm blessed. The devil don't want to see me blessed, but I'm blessed. Come on, give him some praise. Woo. Woo. Hallelujah. Hey. Woo.
upright. Make a joyful noise unto the Lord. All ye lay. This is our 49th anniversary. This is our party. And it's always dancing at every party I've been to. I've never been to a party that wasn't in the dancing. another 60 seconds. I dare you to praise him. Lift him up. Lift him up. Lift the Savior up.
Come on and give him the glory. Come on, give him the glory. Come on and give God the glory. Hey. Hallelujah. Thank you, Lord. Thank you. Thank you. What a mighty God we serve. What a mighty God we serve. Will you? And I got to do this quickly because I don't want to stay here too long. But since this is such a special day, let's open testimony service on Sunday morning. You may not have been here all 49 years, but those of you who are members of this church and even those of you that's been affected by the ministry of this church, will you just tell your neighbor, use 30 seconds total for your interaction. One person take about 15 seconds, the other person takes 15 seconds, and just tell your neighbor what God has done for you since you've been a part of this ministry. Do it now. Tell them what God's done for you since you've been a part of this ministry. Just let them hear how God has blessed you and however how many years you've been here and been supporting this ministry. And when you hear what God have done for your neighbor, put your hands together and praise God for what he did for your neighbor. That shows you that God is no respecter of persons and that he's still in the blessing business. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. What a mighty God we serve. Angels bow before him. Heaven and earth adore him. What a mighty God we serve. Hallelujah. Brother White, you're in the right church. You're in the right church, Brother White. You and your family, you're in the right church. Those are new members. You're in the right church. Hallelujah. 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 Glory to God. Glory to God. There may be someone in this room who is not saved, who is in a backslidden state. The doors of the church are open at this time. And if you're not saved, that does not mean that you're not loved. It simply means you're not saved. God loves you, but you need to be saved. And all it takes to be saved is to admit that you're living in sin. Believe on the Lord Jesus Christ and confess those sins to him. You don't have to confess them to me. I'm not a priest. I'm a preacher. You don't confess your sins to the man, you confess your sins to God. And God will forgive you. Get up now. If you know that you're living in sin, but you want to be saved, get up now and come. Look at these two young brothers. That's right. Come on. Come on. Somebody else in a backslidden state. You used to serve the Lord. You used to be in the church. And you left the church. You left God. Come on back home. Backsliders, come on back. Bless you, my brother. Bless you, my sister. That's right. Come on. This is the right church. This is the church that God has ordained for you. Somebody else, the doors of the church are open. Here's another one. Bless you, my brother. The doors of the church are open. You want to be a member here at Temple of Deliverance. 
You said, I've seen enough. I've heard enough. I've experienced the presence of God every time I come here. I want this to be my church family, and I want Bishop Hawkins to be my pastor. Get on and come. Get up and come. Bless you, honey. That's right. Come on, baby. Come on. Come on. Somebody else. They're coming from the risers. Saints, you ought to praise God because while you are praising God, the yokes will be destroyed. Look at all these souls that God is bringing into the kingdom. They are going to say yes to the Lord. There's no stopping us now. There's no stopping us now. That's right, son. Come on. That's right. Honey, come on. Here comes four, five, six more. That's right. Come on. Somebody ought to be giving God the glory. Somebody ought to be giving God the praise. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. This is the Lord's doing. And it's marvelous in our eyes. God gets all the glory. Mm. <laughs> Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Got about 30 more seconds. Those of you that's watching online, I'm going to pray for you. As the Spirit of the Lord, I know you can feel it while you're watching us wherever you are. Raise that hand with me and repeat these words. Lord Jesus, I'm sorry for my sins. I want to be saved. I pray now that you would forgive me for every one of my sins. I accept you now as my Lord and my Savior. I believe that you died on the cross. I believe God raised you from the dead. I accept you now as my Lord. Thank you, Jesus, for giving me a chance. If you said that prayer with me, you're saved right now. Info at todkojic.org. Info at todkojic.org. Connect with us. We would love to have you. Here comes one, two, three, four new souls. Let's praise God for these that are coming. Hallelujah. Let the devil hear you tell him there's no stopping us now. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. You got about another 15 seconds. Another 15 seconds. The doors of the church are open. If you want this to be your church home, you want to be a member here at Temple of Deliverance, come on. Lost in your sin in a backslidden state, want to return to the Lord, come on. We'd love to have you. Well, we want to thank God for all of these souls on the altar today, these men and women, young men and young ladies who have come to experience the presence of God and learn about Jesus better. Those of you that have come to join the church today, I want you to go to your right. Our membership team is there at the top of the steps. They will get you signed up to be a member of this church. Just lead them to their right, and then the rest will return to their seats if they're not joining, but we thank God. I'm excited about all these young people that are joining the church. That's the future of Temple of Deliverance. Amen. Bless you, my son. Bless you, my daughter. Bless our children. Bless our young people. Thank God. Well, let's give God another great hand of praise. Well, we're going to worship the Lord now in the ministry of giving. Today is the 49th church anniversary. This is not a time to rush the pastor. Don't rush me now. Don't rush me now. You need an envelope, elevate your hand. Ushers and deacons are on the floor. Today is a special day because we're celebrating what the Lord did through our founder, Bishop G.E. Patterson. We're celebrating the ministry. And today we're giving special gifts. I've asked every department, if you're a department president, 
I've asked every auxiliary, every birth month president to add that zero after the year of existence. The year of existence is 49, so each department was responsible for $490. We ask every member of this church and every supporter to give a gift of $49 on today. Every member, every supporter, and those of you that's watching online, the platforms are on your screen now. And you may give with us your tithe, your offering. We're asking everybody today to give a $49 gift. If you can't do the $49, do the very best that you can. If you will give that $49 gift, we'll be so thankful and so appreciative. That helps us to carry ministry further. Helps us to do great things. Did not you enjoy the annual health fair on yesterday, those who came out? It was tremendous. I believe uh, Nurse Bowie, who is the coordinator of activities, said there was about 350 people that came out to participate in the free screenings and health initiatives. Thank God for Deacon Sims, who was a medical doctor. He is the director, bless you, Dr. Sims, of our health and healing ministry. Nurse Bowie is the coordinator of the events. They gave us a great time on yesterday. Minister Michael King is the director, the new director of the Family Life Center. He's doing an excellent job in working hard for his church. And then I enjoyed dancing Sister Linda Henry Thomas today, charter member. I see she got her camera rolling all the time taking pictures, watching everything goes on. She's been here a long time from Holy Temple days. And we thank God she did an excellent job as a charter member on today. Do your best in giving. $49 is a small gift to ask. The background that I'm from at church anniversary, they would ask every member for at least $100. That's the background I'm from. And we were asking that 30 years ago. And you know $100 30 years ago is not equivalent to $100 today. And even your $49 gift that you're giving, we thank God for it. But it has shrunken over the years. And so we celebrate what God has done in this church by showing him our faithfulness in giving. If you're ready, would you please elevate your hands with your envelope and those of giving by way of uh, technology through your smartphones. Father, we thank you now for the gift and the givers. We thank you for every male, female, member, supporter, contributor that loves you and loves this particular ministry. Bless our gifts now, make them adequate for the needs of this ministry. Rebuke the devourer for our sakes. And we thank you for what you've already done and we celebrate in advance for what we know you're going to do. Thank you in Jesus' name. Amen. Hold on to your gifts because immediately on your way out, you'll deposit uh, your envelopes in the receptacles. Those of you that's given by telephone, yours is digital. It's already been deposited in the church's account. And those of you that's given online, thank God for you. We prepare our hearts now 
for Holy Communion. The Eucharist, the giving of thanks. In the book of 1 Corinthians, chapter 11, the word of the Lord says, And when he had given thanks, he broke it and said, Take, eat, this is my body, which is broken for you. This do in remembrance of me. After the same manner also he took the cup which he had supped, saying, This cup is the New Testament in my blood. This do ye as oft as you drink it in remembrance of me. For as often as you eat this bread and drink this cup, ye do show the Lord's death till he come. Wherefore, whosoever shall eat this bread and drink this cup of the Lord unworthily shall be guilty of the body and blood of the Lord. But let a man examine himself, and so let him eat of that bread and drink of that cup. For he that eateth and drinketh unworthily eateth and drinketh damnation to himself, not discerning the Lord's body. For this cause, Many are weak and sickly among you, and many sleep. God, our Father, as we now come before the table of communion, where we remember your life, your death, your burial, and your resurrection, your word commanded us, do this in remembrance of me. We ask now that you would forgive us of any sins that are in our life. Make us eligible for Holy Communion that we will take it with thanksgiving and not take it disrespectfully. Forgive us now. Wash us in your blood and cause healing to be our portion. In Jesus' name we pray, thank God, amen. Those of you that are on the line right now, take the bread, eat. And take also the drink and drink ye all of it. God bless you. I don't know uh, if there are any other announcements that need to be made. If so, you can queue it up. And if not, we will be done for today. Enjoy the rest of your day. Our deacons and